Lexus is VS Jaguar XE. The new Lexus is adds more style to its hybrid package, but can it beat the Jaguar XE? The compact executive class is highly competitive, with numerous models vying for buyers' attention. One of the more left-field choices is the Lexus is, with its uniquely Japanese take on the small saloon formula, using innovative hybrid powertrains and focusing on build quality. Yet after nearly four years on sale, the car has slipped behind the competition. In a bid to revive its fortunes, Lexus has refreshed the model with an extra dose of style, plus some slight tweaks to the driving experience and the interior. Before the brand can pop the champagne corks, though, the is must face our current class favorite, the Jaguar XE. Mixing style, quality, low running costs and bags of driving enjoyment, the Brit means business in this cutthroat sector. Head to head. Model. Lexus is 300H Advance. Jaguar XE 2.0 D180 Prestige. Price. £33,695. £33,025. Engine. 2.5 liter 4 CYL petrol slash electric motor. 2.0 liter 4 CYL diesel. Power slash torque. 220 bhp, combined, slash 221 nm. 178 bhp slash 430 nm. Transmission. CVT automatic, rear wheel drive. 8 speed automatic, rear wheel drive. 0 to 60 miles per hour. 8.1 seconds. 8.2 seconds. Top speed. 125 miles per hour. 140 miles per hour. Test economy. 31.1 mpg. 44.7 mpg. CO2 slash tax. 101 g slash km slash pound 20. 111 g slash km slash pound 30. Options. Metallic paint, 610 pounds. Metallic paint, 635 pounds. Lexus is. 4. Great refinement, high quality interior, sharp looks. Against, not very spacious, poor infotainment system, dull powertrain. Buyers looking for an executive saloon that's not powered by a diesel engine, but are unwilling to compromise on running costs, shouldn't ignore the new Lexuses. At a glance, they might not twig this is the latest version, though, as the changes to the lights and bonnet are subtle. The 300H model tested here features a 2.5-liter four-cylinder petrol engine that's supported by an electric motor, helping keep fuel usage and CO2 emissions to a minimum. The engine itself doesn't feel particularly potent, as it's set up for economy, but the combined petrol-electric output of 220 bhp means it's actually slightly faster than the Jaguar on the track, going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.1 seconds. It was quicker from 50 to 70 miles per hour, too, taking 4.2 seconds 3 tenths up on the XE. Unfortunately, going from 50 to 70 miles per hour in the Lexus feels like much more of an ordeal than the XE, because of the CVT box. There are no gears as such, and the engine revs flare when you press the throttle, creating an unpleasant vacuum cleaner like noise in the cabin while the revs build. This hurts the Lexus's refinement, and the IS is slightly noisier inside at 70 miles per hour than the Jag, even though it will sit at just 1,300 rpm at that speed. While the official economy figures match the XE's diesel engine, in the real world, we only managed 31.1 mpg, the Jag returned 44.7 mpg. Still, where the hybrid wins for running costs is with its company car tax bills, since the 101G slash KM Lexus will save top rate earners around 500 pounds a year. The dull engine and CVT gearbox mean that the IS will never be able to match the XE as a driver's car, either, as speeding up is so unpleasant. Ignore that, though, and the Lexus's chassis is actually pretty good, 
with well-weighted steering and decent body control in corners. The wheel just doesn't provide much feel, and while it's better than you expect, it can't match the Jaguar here. In normal driving, the Lexus is very comfortable, with the suspension revisions delivering a well-judged ride, but that's also thanks to the excellent seating position. It feels sporty without affecting access, and there's plenty of adjustment, too. Plus, as the electric motor powers the car on its own at low speed, it's smooth and quiet in traffic. We're big fans of the IS cabin, as it has a very high quality finish and a neatly designed dash. It feels more spacious than the XE in the front, but there's not as much legroom in the back. The other drawback to the Lexus's interior is the dated infotainment system only the flagship Premier gets the larger 10.3-inch unit from the RX SUV. Testers Notes Materials, there's a high-quality finish throughout, with smart executive touches, such as the classy analog clock and chrome accents. Controls, rotary dial control selects driving mode, upgraded remote touch interface is frustrating. Position, there's plenty of adjustment for the driver's seat so it's easy to get a comfortable position. Jaguar XE 4. Great to drive, low running costs, stylish to look at. Against, less standard kit, fussy infotainment system, rattly diesel noise. Buying an executive saloon is tough, there's never been more choice. Our current favorite is the Jaguar XE, but there are some really worthy contenders from the German brands, while even the Alfa Romeo Giulia deserves a closer look. Where the Jag gets it right is with its balance of abilities. Take the 178 bhp diesel engine in our prestige model here, for example, it's a strong performer, managing 0 to 60 miles per hour at the track in 8.2 seconds. It's fairly punchy in gear, too, going from 50 to 70 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds in fifth. The Jag doesn't just settle for decent performance, though, and matches it with the promise of strong economy our 44.7 mpg figure on test beat the Lexus's 31.1 mpg return easily. And while the Jag's 111G slash KM emissions are higher than the IS, private buyers will pay just £10 more a year in tax, at £30. But while the Lexus is a little faster in a straight line, the Jaguar is much more fun to drive, thanks to its composed chassis, quick steering and lighter curb weight. At the same time, the XE manages to feel smooth and refined on the road, and although the ride is a little on the firm side, it's a small price to pay for the engaging handling. At 70 miles per hour, the Jaguar sits at 1,700 RPM, and despite being at higher revs than the petrol Lexus, it proved to be quieter at 70 miles per hour. Since many executive saloon buyers spend a lot of time pounding up and down motorways, that's key. The 8-speed automatic gearbox feels slightly lumpy at low speed, though. For example, when you're pulling up to a roundabout and want to move away quickly into a gap, the transmission can feel slow to react. However, most of the time it's smooth and responsive, even when driving more aggressively. But because it has actual gears, as opposed to the continuously variable transmission, CVT, in the Lexus is, you can gently accelerate with full control of the engine revs, particularly if you use the wheel-mounted paddles. That means the Jaguar feels more relaxed when you want it to, but also more enjoyable to drive quickly. The driver sits nice and low in the XE's cabin, the seating position is both comfortable and sporty feeling, and the high-quality interior means the XE has an upmarket air. The touchscreen infotainment system is a bit fiddly, and it's annoying that things like the heated seat controls have to be accessed through the screen, instead of a simple button on the console. It's much more modern looking than the dated system in the Lexus, however. Testers Notes Technology, infotainment system is modern but can be a bit fiddly. Items like reverse parking camera are extra there included on the Lexus. Cabin, interior feels slightly more cramped than its rival, due to the imposing center console. Materials, 
cabin has a high quality finish and is full of leather and color coordinated stitching. Verdict First place, Jaguar XE. Jaguar's XE claims yet another road test victory, thanks to its all round ability. The engine is flexible and economical, while the fun handling isn't spoiled by a hard rod. It's not the most practical buy and the infotainment system feels dated, but even this doesn't deny the talented Jag. Second place, Lexus is. The Lexus is is still a left field choice in the compact executive class. The quality cabin, relaxed low speed driving experience and low CO2 will all appeal in their own way, but these just can't beat the Jaguar XE as an all-rounder. However, it's a handsome and interesting alternative.